Welcome to another episode of Building Sailing Yacht Mistress, everybody. This is video number three produced with my new professional editing software program. And I now feel confident enough to say that it has already been a huge game changer for me. Enjoy. Another view of it from here. It's large. It is definitely large. And it's exactly what I want. So this is the next bulkhead, which will be another 300 mil high. We'll go along and then scallop up to this side deck beam. Purpose of that is there'll be 240 millimeters of a splashback so that when working in the kitchen, you don't get things falling over into the saloon dining area. So my plan is to move through the boat doing the bulkheads. So rather than just complete that heads area, I made the decision to complete the bulkheads as I'm going through the boat. Could be done anyway, that was my choice. It's not as high as it looks, I'm standing on the hull of the boat. If I stand on the floor height, the 300 mil will be up here. So that probably makes more sense. Still at a lot of head height here. So roomy, roomy boat. That is a hallmark of Vanderstad. Here we are in the shed. As I showed previously, I have got a couple of templates done, worked out for the next two bulkheads, one for the forward end of the heads and the other the bulkhead between the galley and the saloon area. So I've cleaned the area out, there's so much more space here, it's, it's really great. Off camera are the two templates, so I will select the ply that I want for those. It's good now, I'm at a stage where I can just hopefully start to reduce this pack size. Let's get into it. Just to show the detail there, as you can see, there's those pencil lines for the cutouts where those little beams notch in. This is a tricky little shape, which as I explained is for the little key that will go into that porthole. Another little notch for a beam. So time to cut it up.
So with this key here that I mentioned needs to go into the porthole, with the jigsaw, which is fine for edges that are not going to be seen because it does wander a bit, when an edge is going to be seen, obviously it's important that that cut is nice and straight. It's not very straight, it's wandered a bit with that jigsaw. So what I'm going to do is use the router. I've got this board here which I'll use as a straight edge. I've already marked out where this straight edge will go, clamp that in place and then I'll use the router to make a nice dead straight cut so that that's nice and straight. So you can see there I haven't made a very good job of a nice straight line there. You can see the pencil line here still. It's not worth trying to get that straight with the jigsaw straight edge with a router cut we'll get that nice and straight Well that was good to get that bulkhead into the boat. Now on to the next one, all in the same day. It's a, a record actually. Don't think I've got much written on this one because this is pretty right. Just a little bit to add where it actually goes down into the hull floors, but otherwise this is pretty right. Next bulkhead fitted and in. Just to show an example of the thinking ahead, which is always required whenever you're doing anything. So I've just put some pencil marks there that you can see. The bottom one is the height of the hull floors. The one above near the hull is the height of the top of what will be the cabin sole. Coming up here, I've then got the top of the seat height for this saloon area. And here I'm actually going to add a piece that will go from here up to the top as a strip the full distance there to thicken this sheet up because I'm also going to have a small ledge on top of this piece which will form something along the lines of a small breakfast bar just so that when you're not sailing you can use that to put things on top and hand things between the saloon and the galley. Another thing to mention is I was just having a bit of a consider about how I'm going to be placing the side piece here for the seating and originally I was thinking that the cabinetry for the galley would be separate to this saloon dining area but in looking at this in order to try and reduce the amount of edges that are going to be shown on the ply to cover things up, I just realised that there's nothing to stop me from making the cabinetry for the galley when it comes to this side piece and this slightly stepped piece for the seating side out of one piece. So I think that having that in one piece 
will cover those edges and be a good way to just make that a continuous looking side piece. Let's see how that looks going ahead. Here's the template for the top of that bulkhead. So I've put it in place and made some marks. Looks a bit unusual the way it is now, but the idea is this mark here is where this will come down and then approximately there it's going to have a radius and that will come up to about there so be a nice radius then go straight up and then joined to the top of this bulkhead and then as I mentioned before it's going to have a strip joined along there and that will all be one piece with that top bit to double up that piece there just to stiffen it up a bit as I say for the breakfast bar on top this is what I was talking about so there's that template with the radius on top of that galley saloon bulkhead and I am happy with the way that's come up, bit of trial and error with the radiuses first of all I had a 20 litre drum and the radius as you can see still there to me that was a bit tight I then did a 40 gallon drum used that as a radius, that was too big so the one you see there is a 60 litre drum and as I say I'm happy with the, with the look of that I think that looks fine and then just over here I mentioned yesterday this keyway into the porthole so that's how that's come up and again I'm happy with the look of that I think that it will provide privacy in the heads and I'm sure I'll get that to look nice enough I'll cap it with a nice bit of rosewood the bulkhead will be painted white both sides so I'm sure that'll look fine that's what it looks like from the other side So these two bulkheads are finished now and now it's a matter of moving on to the other bulkheads for the heads area here. That will be three other pieces, one, two and then a small bulkhead at the back there. There's also the strip that I mentioned previously for this top part of this bulkhead. So once I've made those up and that, it'll all come out of the boat and it needs to be painted. This one will remain in the boat because it's just too big and awkward to bring in and out of the boat. Of course, they then need to go through the process of being coated with the boat coat epoxy. Also, just to point out that I think this has come up well. I'm happy with the design there. There's going to be overhead cupboards for the galley over here, and there'll be locker and stowage place back here behind the saloon seating and the curve there just softens the shape and then as I say there will be the breakfast bar top shelf on top of this. What I usually do when it comes to drawing up and working out the parts, I usually just do a very, very rough sketch. From that, I just measure and add dimensions to that. It's common practice, but just to point that out. Just to explain, what I need to do is shoot these cleat positions up 
onto the beams above so that I know if the bulkhead is going to be plumb and level vertically. It's another use for the plumb bob so that I know what the correct position for that bulkhead will be. And so those marks represent the position directly vertically above where those cleats are on the hull floors. So now I can measure exactly to those points and get an exact drawing for the template to end up with that sort of a detail. So here's the next template. I'll go into the boat now with this and see what it looks like. I do have a feeling that something's wrong here. The good thing about it is with a template, you can chop and change it. And this is the value of having a template. I prefer it, it's in real size. You can't make mistakes once you get the template right. My preferred method. Well, things have really changed inside the boat over the last few days. Good weather, getting all that stuff out of my way and allowing me to be free to do boat work. So I've just cut up that template, which you saw, and it's actually now getting very tricky to film things inside the camera short of a fisheye lens. Anyhow, here's that template that I just cut up. As mentioned, I thought that there was something wrong with a point on that. As you can see, it doesn't quite fit. And the problem is this point here, which, as I mentioned, I thought wasn't right. It's not a big deal. It's not out that much, but Interestingly enough, on the other side, I made a mark. When I was marking it out, I had two other marks. And as it turns out, I think this one is actually correct. This was a guesstimate. So I'll just take this out and cut it to that and see what it looks like. I have one more piece to do, which I'll definitely do today. The bulkhead closes here and this is where the doorway is all in here. Another view of it from here. It's large, it is definitely large. And it's exactly what I want because it's going to give enough room to do everything I want in there. <laughs> 